we're just going to get into it. We're just going to lay it all out. We're just going to talk about the things that needs to be said and talk about the things that nobody wants to talk about. So let's get into today's video. I'm Marcia Walker. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be talking about how much I make as a school bus driver. We're just going to get straight into the video. I took a screenshot of one of my pay stubs and I'm just going to put that here on the screen so you guys can kind of follow along and see what it is that I'm talking about as I am talking. So, being a school bus driver here in the state of Wisconsin, with me being a bus driver only since October, I get paid $20.50. There is some drivers out there that do AM, midday, PM. I just do AM and PM. Another thing is when I had first started working, um, I was doing a lot of charters. If you hear me say charter, that means I was doing a lot of field trips. So I'm going to pull up my pay stub and get into it. So the first line you see is 3923 and you see sign on bonus and at the pay rate $500. So when I first started, they let us know that the sign on bonus was going to be $5,000 and you do not have to pay that money back if you do not want to stay with the company. There is no contract. So each pay period they break that down to 500, so 55555. Five, 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 five. The next line is you see that I did a charter which is a field trip from the middle school to the Urbanton Center two hours and 75 minutes the pay was $15 and that totaled out to $41.25 I have a problem with that I have a problem with that because why did I pay drop when we do field trips that's just like a route because we take we go to the school we pick them up we take them to that field trip we sit there for them to get out they get back on the bus at the field trip and then we take them back to school we should get paid our normal amount as we do with our routes and then again i see that i got food for the next time that I did a field trip, it was the elementary school, and I took them to the same center. But for some reason, that field trip was three hours and 28 minutes. I got paid $15. $49.25 was the total amount. Why was it different? Why was my pay cut? Somebody care to explain? Probably not. The next one was the planetorium. I did a vlog about that one when I took them to the planetorium. That one was a two hours and 13 minutes, $15, totaled out to $32. So during that pay period, those three field trips was eight hours and 17 minutes. My total came out to $122.50. I don't feel like that's right. I feel like that we should still be getting paid our regular pay rate as a school bus driver. Why did it drop? Because we are taking these kids on a field trip. Why did it drop? Because we took these kids on a field trip. The next one, the next line is my regular school bus driver route for the a.m route so like i told you guys i have two schools in the morning so they say that takes me two hours and 27 minutes to do my school bus driver pay is two twenty fifty. that came out to 46 47 right and then 
for the PM, I did my original PM route and then I picked up a school. So that took me four hours and three minutes, my pay, and then that equaled out to 82, 82.68. Now, so basically if I will have three schools, it'll equal out to 82.68. Not bad, I am not the um, HR payroll people, but I, I should be, because we all as school bus drivers will be paid. So as you guys can see, some of these numbers are different because on Wednesdays, like I tell you guys, I only have one school in the afternoon because my Catholic school, they get out early. I'm able to pick them up. I don't know why I'm not on that route, but they just don't allow me to pick them up. They don't have bus service on Wednesdays. So during that time, sometimes I will pick up um, other schools and charters and things like that. But I was seeing like, it still wasn't equaling out. It still was not given what need to be gave. Like, so if I did not have that sign on bonus, y'all, my pay for those two weeks would have been 901.32. Not bad, but not good enough. You know what I'm saying? So it's like as a school bus driver, you have to work your ass off to get the desired pay that you would like. It's not bad, but it's not easy dealing with these people always asking, can you pick up a route? Can you do a route? You guys see what I go through. You guys see what I have to deal with, with them always asking me if I'm available to pick up another route. I mean, it's worth it. Don't get me wrong. In the beginning, it's fun. It's worth it. But then it's like, it feel like they start to take advantage of you. So that gross for that pay period was $15.23.84. I think my take home was like $13. My take home was $13. Not bad. Like I say, not bad, but not good enough. You know, so you need to just make sure you figure out what it is that you want to do for yourself if you decide to become a school bus driver because the pay is not bad. But those hours, when you have your AM route and you don't have a midday and you take that break, that break is about two to four hours. It could be up to four hours some days. And then go back to do your PM route. Is either you can do field trips in between or midday or you just don't do anything at all. And like I said, I used to go and do those extra routes and do those field trips, but I don't anymore because I feel like all the money that I'm doing all those extra routes on is just going to be taken in taxes. Like those extra routes, those extra field trips or charters and things like that. It just seems as if it's still being taken away in taxes or the money just seems like it's not adding up. You will feel like you're doing the same field trip or you feel like you're picking up the same schools around the same hours. But as you can see, somehow on my paycheck, it's coming up different. How, Sway? How? You know what I'm saying? So just be mindful of what it is. What is your goal when you want to become a school bus driver? Ask them what their pay is. Ask them, do they drop their pay when it comes to field trips and picking up routes and things like that? Because you want to make sure that your pay is equaling out or equaling more if you take this route or not. You know? Don't settle just because they need the help or they don't want to go out there and do the routes themselves. Sometimes it's best if you just say, nah, I'm good. I missed that hour or, you know, on that route because nine times out of 10, it's going to get taken in taxes and who want that? Nobody. So 
Yes, y'all. Am I okay with the checks? None of us is okay with a check that looked like this, but it get the job done. It, it paid the things that need to be paid. You know, it take it helps me be able to take care of my family. But that's why it's also important to try to get different streams of income. Because one one job just it's just not working. It's not working. And it's like you need to find other things to make sure that you keep your family above water and you keep things afloat in your household. But if you guys like today's video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And let's talk about it in the comments. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.